When you wish upon a star, your dreams come true. That's what Mickey Mouse believes, and he ought to know. Mickey was Walt Disney's dream over 50 years ago, and a trip to Disneyland in Anaheim, California, is still every child's dream. Walt Disney wanted to create a fully interactive three-dimensional experience where guests could see, touch and party with their very own fictional heroes. To all who come to this happy place, welcome. On 160 acres of Orange County farmland, Disneyland, the world's first theme park, was built and opened to the public in 1955. Walt Disney, already a successful Hollywood animator, had a concept that was grand in scale and yet simple in aim. It was to be a place where parents and children could play together, a magic kingdom where fantasy, escape and just plain fun were the only rules. You can now enjoy a park that covers 430 acres and employs over 20,000 people. In 1955, the park opened with two dozen attractions, including the Sleeping Beauty's much-loved castle. Now, they're 60. Although the big draw card is still the iconic fairy tale castle. And the cuddly characters, of course. Americans are working longer hours than anyone else in the industrialised world. They also have comparatively shorter annual vacations, an average of only two weeks a year. A place like Disneyland provides a licence to play and a liberated sense of time in an otherwise hectic year. So if you need a serious escape and some quality time with your children, you can visit two separate theme parks here in Anaheim, the classic Disneyland and Disney's Californian Adventure. The kids will love Disneyland and you'll enjoy the extended range of live shows, shopping and dining opportunities of the adjacent park, Disney's Californian Adventure. And to avoid work altogether, you can stay at one of the park's three hotels, including the luxurious Grand Californian Hotel and Spa. Then it's only a short stroll or tram ride to the heart of downtown Disney. A good time to visit the popular resort is midweek if you want to avoid the crowds. And to avoid any tears on the way back home, you'd better allow four days to cover most attractions of both theme parks.